welcome to Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul. Hey, uh, we're going to start a con uh, con conversation this week that we meant to start a couple of weeks ago, but we couldn't because it was so hot and controversial that um, the state and federal levels kept changing the rules regarding masks. So we're going to dive in a little conversation of that. Now, granted, this is our opinion. This is nobody else's. This is strictly our opinion. Everybody has their own opinion regarding that. But we do like your feedback, though. A um, couple of weeks ago, our Ohio governor mandated uh, mandatory masks. And I quote, apply to all resident, Ohio residents 10 years and older. Masks must be worn in all indoor public places. So that, that could be leave a lot of uh, doubt, a lot of in question in my, and we'll get into that. Masks must be worn in all indoor public places. The other one is it's kind of wide open. Apply when outdoor distance not mandated. And they were trying to reduce the number of people in your party down to 10. So you could have 10 people and still not wear a mask? I don't know. The problem I'm having is they, the federal government and the state government screwed this up from the start. This should have been driven by the CDC day one. Wear a mask. Period. Now, now this is a touchy subject. The masks do not prevent you from getting COVID-19. It doesn't. No matter what mask you wear. Unless you are wearing the N95 respirator masks. And they only want them for the healthcare industry. Which is understandable. But they want everybody else to cover their faces while they're out. And people are questioning why. And most of it is, and the CDC came back and said that it is between wearing a mask helps preventing you spreading it to somebody else. If you're coughing and sneezing, you're sneezing into the mask. Now, granted, after a while, you're going to have to wash those masks or recycle it for a new one. But if that's what the masks are for. Okay? You can join on in anytime you want, my dear. The problem that we had when this first hit um, mid-March... Um, we didn't have any masks and I tried ordering from Amazon and I tried ordering uh, from a couple different places at Etsy and they those orders fell through um, couldn't find any my brother gave us four of the paper masks so we had that. That's all we had. However, I then found um, a company out of Florida who made, um, they're called squishbands.com, sweat smart. And it's a tube, okay? A lot of motorcycle people wear these. It's thin. Perfect to go out skiing with. And like, it's, no, it's not skiing. They, I mean, they are thin. It's not for winter sports, but it's it's a thin tube, and they say you can wear this like 12 different ways. We ordered, um, first ones we got were blue, then we got some red ones, and then um, I got one pink. But these were, we spent $100 on these for, I believe it was only seven. 
We got seven and they were $100. So that's what we got. Um, the thing that our children didn't really like about this is it would smush your nose and it would be right up against your mouth. Um, they would, they were good about staying up and not slipping down. So that was what we ended up getting. Then, uh, my husband tried to buy me a sewing machine so I could make some because I had a sewing machine, but somehow I lost the foot pedal. Well, my uncle and um, his wife ended up loaning us one. So I ended up making one mask. You know, I am a very um, artsy, craftsy person. Um, but I'm telling you, this pissed me off to no end. Put me in such a foul mood, I couldn't stand it. I have come to realize, no matter how crafty of a person I am, sewing is not something I can handle. Well, here's the problem, before we get into the other types of masks we ran into, is people are, some people are not even wearing masks when they walk into stores. Signs on the stores are now saying, you must wear, because of Ohio mandate, you must wear a mask. Stores are lacking for business. They're hurting. They're not pushing customers away and saying, you got to have a mask. You can't come in here. They want their money. So they're take you know, they're taking the mandate. That, let the mascot come and find me. Ain't gonna happen. So there's people wanting no masks. There's some people that wear a mask and doesn't even cover their nose. They're or just here. I'm wearing a mask. <laughs> you right. know, so it's kind of <laughs> ridiculous. Then you got some people who wear the mask going into the store. But then turn around in the store, take it off. Yes. Because hey, no one, yes, no one saying? is stopping them. So now, uh, this past week, uh, Dollar Tree. We love Dollar Tree. Great store. Great products. If you, you go shopping around, a lot of Dollar Tree hauls online. You go through their store and. They put out on Facebook stating that their employees don't need to be wearing a mask, but they're requiring all customers to be wearing a mask. And I'm like, it doesn't work that way, folks. It's got to be everybody. You can't be partial. Okay, let me go back to, um, I made three or four of these myself. I took, I found this beautiful material Super, super soft, stretchy at Joanne Fabrics. And I didn't feel like I needed to make my tubes as long as the ones that we bought from Florida. However, I did sew, well not sew, but I glued it with E6000 glue. Um, a pipe cleaner in there and turned the material down so it would go around my nose. We're going to talk about all the frustrating parts of all the different masks. And don't in it let anyone tell you that these masks are, are one size fits all. They are full of hooey. This is not true. Okay. So, then I ordered, uh, like I said, I first tried to order some from Amazon and the order... Um, some of the orders got deleted because they said they didn't have any. Well, we let two orders. We kept waiting. We waited over two months. So I finally got sick and tired of waiting, and I told Amazon to cancel the orders. So we did end up getting five of these gator. They call them gators, too. This is just like these from Florida, only this is silky material, and these from Florida, the... Squish are not um, silky material. Now, we got five of these. And these are good for Paul and my two sons. But I was actually wearing, 
this one of these in Kroger and it was too big for me and fell down. So I cannot wear this. I look like a guy that's ready to rob a liquor store. Now, another type that I had ordered that we canceled and they sent it anyway. So Amazon told us just to keep them was two like this. This is the back, okay? The long is in the front. But then it's got these ear things. And this does not fit well. I mean, when you put this on your face, my husband wears it like this over his ears and just lets it hang. And doesn't even put his head in there because he thought it was a little tight. It, it's, it's snug. And oh, I've these got a big like head, so. stick up. It doesn't make sense how, how this how you wear this. Okay? Then, like I said, we got five of these silky patriotic ones. Uh, my husband and the boys like those. Now, I did find at Kroger, where's the other ones? Um, Remember Samuels? The cream color one? Yes. And the, the flag, is it in the car? Okay. I did find this design at Kroger, which we really, this is my favorite mask. I got it in this um, floral for myself. I found this blue one which Samuel took, and then I found one that was a flag, which my husband took. What's really good about this is it has a nose wire, and these elastics are super thin, and they're adjustable. And it has a spot where you can put a filter. And these were only $5 a piece. So this one has like a blue design. And this one, like I said, is mine that's um, floral, and my husband has the flag. I liked these the best. However, when I went back two weeks later to buy more of these, they were gone. Gone. So, oh, and then another thing is my uncle gave these to us. It's one and done mask. Um... It's totally um, a piece of throwaway material with sticky on it, and you just place it all the way over your face. Made right here in Lebanon. Made in Lebanon for like, if, you, if you're going to like the salon, the nail salon or whatnot. So we had these. We had these. We had the paper, which I don't, I don't mind these paper ones, you know, but... It's, it's the paper, you only get a couple uses out of it and you have to throw it away. So as you can see, we've had quite a bit of different types of the masks. And here's the, the problem that we have. Even though this is one quarter inch elastic, there, for some reason, people that wear glasses what I have found is when I would wear a mask with this kind of elastic on it, it's just big enough that it causes my glasses to almost fall off my face. Now I have two pairs of glasses. My purple pair of glasses, every time I tried to wear a mask with it, would totally fall off my face. And then another issue I was having was my glasses would fog up really, really bad. So, these are just really, really bad problems that people wearing glasses have to deal with when you wear these things. And it's not just us. I, when I'd be in a store and I'd be waiting in line and I'd notice other people who were wearing glasses and had, you know, this kind of elastic on their mask and their glasses were almost falling off their face too, I would... Um, talk to them. I said, don't you just hate how these masks are not um, glass wearer friendly? And then we get talking about it. This with the super thin is easier, but what, what you can do, what I found is I'll take this and I'll take my one earpiece 
and unhook it and I will wrap it around my earpiece. You can do one or you can do two. And then you have to make sure your glasses are over top of this. This mask that I really like goes really close up to your eyes. Um, this is the side over here that I wrapped around. As you can see, it's not sliding. So that's what you can do to help. See that? I just wrapped it around. It's You can do it ahead of time if you want. Take it and wrap it like, like this and then put it on your face. It's a little more difficult to get everything just right, but you can do that. See? And it stays there. It's pretty secure. That's the trick that I have found to help keep these on if you wear glasses. Otherwise, I don't know what it is about. Even though this is like thin, small, elastic, it's just enough to make your glasses want to come right off your face. So, um, I don't know what other kind of problems everyone else is having, but we've had a lot of issues. Now, with these gator type, let me get my peak one out. They're going to be a lot better in the winter time. Um, this does not bother your glasses at all. Let me show you this one. Hopefully it won't mess my hair up. I just took a shower. Let's put my glasses on so I can see. So see? This one's up. Under the glasses. Put it kind of smashes your nose and it rests right on your mouth so that's kind of irritating and if you're claustrophobic like I am at times that really tends to bother me um, even the one I made with the super soft material they're all just these types are just kind of claustrophobic but, you know, when you can't find any, you take what you can get. But this is my favorite design because it gives you more room in the nose and mouth area and does not smush, you know, smush your nose down and is not too close to make you feel claustrophobic. So I really hope they start carrying these again because I only have this one. Um, we did find another type of mask, uh, two for $15 that they're made really nice. Um, they're not as roomy as this, but they're still super nice. I'd have, I have to see if I can get Will's or Samuel's. They both had them on today when we went to the, to the beach. So, you know, I don't know. Uh, these masks at Kroger's are flying off the shelf. And the ones that they replaced, you know, the ones that they had after these, I did not like them at all. They weren't this design. Um, I had to feel around in the package for these that had the nose wire. So that's the hardest part about the mask thing, at least it's been for us, is for me to actually find a mask that I like that works for me and that's the people wearing glasses you know like I said wrapping it these thin elastics around your glasses once does help keep it on your face so what do you think about these people walking around without like we were at UDF the other day and I was the only one there wearing a mask yeah um I don't agree with that people need to wear their masks. I, I don't know why people aren't doing it. Every time we go out somewhere 
and um, I don't see people wearing masks. I post a thing on Facebook. Oh, let me tell you this. Um, one day we went into Speedway. I went in. Um, I had just left my doctor's appointment and I had my mask on and I wanted a fountain drink. So I went right over to Speedway, had my mask on, went in the door and I don't know what was going on, but that place was jam packed all the way in the store at the front where the cashier was to all the way back past the door was a solid line. They were not, and this was after they were saying, you need to stay six feet away from people. These people were right on top of each other, and nobody except myself and the two workers at the desk, the cashiers, were the only ones that had the masks on, and, and they were right on top of each other. And they even had a sign as soon as you went in Speedway that, they were selling some of these, you know, paper masks, um, if you didn't have one. And I went home that day and I posted a thing on Facebook about it because it was absolutely crazy. There had to be at least 12 people in that store, not including myself, customers, who didn't have a mask on and they were right on top of each other. Yeah, they, you know, people are complaining that they're worried about the government shutting down, you know, <laughs> stores and restaurants and stuff like that. Well, it's going to happen if, if because people are not wearing masks and help doing their part to help stop spreading this virus until they come up with a vaccine. It is what it is, and people are not taking it seriously. Yeah, um, I've actually seen um, posts that people put on Facebook claiming, oh, this is a scam, they don't believe it, it's just the government trying to trick us. Now let me tell you, we ha I have a sister-in-law who works at the hospital. Two thumbs up a shout that. out to Amber. She is an essential worker, she's a hero in my opinion. She gets in there every day, and she was the first one when this all started who was complaining because the hospital was not taking care of their workers. They were not providing them with masks right from the start of this whole thing. She had a lady cough right in her face. Luckily, Amber has not gotten sick, but she is in the trenches every day, and she sees what happens at the hospital. So, this is not a scam. Not a scam. So, that's just some of the issues we've had trying to find masks and then trying to find a mask that, you know, really is comfortable to wear, that fits properly, um, that doesn't fog up on your face and doesn't cause your glasses to fall off. So... And now we're three weeks away from starting school season. You know, and some schools are like splitting, working from school to school, working, uh, working from home. Some are even having designated areas where <laughs> some students can take off their masks. So they're not feeling like they have to wear it all day. But they're going to be spread out across a football field or something. You know, every school district is managing it differently based on their own needs I'm scared I'm scared for my child to go back to school um, if I had it my way I would have Samuel um, do the homeschooling but we had they gave the parents and students a choice you had two choices you could a um, do homeschooling or you could be Come to school. Online, online schooling. Yeah, online schooling or Through physically them. come to the school. And Samuel will be a junior this year, and he wanted to go back to school because he had trouble completing uh, his homework um, 
he had, you know, he needs help. So he um, didn't like the home, the homeschooling aspect of it. Well, and I don't know the percentages, if I heard it correctly or not, but this part of the Ohio, I think they said, what, 66% or what, you know, wasn't really doing the homework online. There was no one driving them. Other than if there were an email, if there was an email that could be sent to the parent to stay on top of it. So he's going to be planning on going back to school. However, I am going to be driving him to school in the morning and picking him up. Um, I don't, I don't want him on the the school bus. Um, I'd rather. It's not going to be fun for me, but I would feel better taking him to school in the morning and then picking him up. But I'll, I am nervous about him going back to school, about people actually wearing their masks um, and them staying six feet apart, you know. I'm, I'm just really uh, nervous about it. And those of you that know us, um, our other son, our oldest son, Will, who is autistic, um, he goes to a day program called RCC 100 Zero. He used to go um, Monday through Friday, but they were closed for a while. And when they opened back up, we didn't start him right up. We wanted to see how things were going for a couple weeks. And he just recently started back a couple weeks ago, and um, he only goes now two days a week um, because they want to rotate all the students enrolled to give them a chance to get out of the yeah, house. They want to make sure everyone has a a fair amount of time since they had to cut way back um, because they they're only they, I think they were, had like. 20 to 30 total and now they can only have 10 in the building 12 in the building including staff so they they really have a lot of adjustments they're trying to do so um and they wear masks and they don't yeah. go out to public places like you know where mass gatherings are, are at but they are at like a park or something like that to, so they do like walk across the street or I don't know if they walk or maybe they drive but across the street is a UDF and that they've gone there for like a little field trip and they do wear their masks and stuff um, they've gone to the park they've worn their mask so will will is really good about wearing his mask um, so yeah we don't have to worry about him taking it off in fact when we went to the um, the beach today, uh, we all had our mask on, and um, we we sat there for a few minutes to see if people were you know people were totally keeping their distance, so we didn't have to worry about anyone coming near us. And since that was the case, we told them they could take it off because no one was even close to us. No one came near us. So the, this was a big enough beach, and there was little people there that everyone had plenty of room. But um, as soon as we got back in the car, Will had his mask on. It's like, Will, honey, you don't have to wear your mask in the car. You can take it off, you know. So he's really good about wearing one um, at his day program every day. Well, he doesn't go every day. Like I said, he goes two days a week. Um, but even when... We get ready to go into Walmart or somewhere. He's in the car, got the mask on, ready to go. So, I think we covered most of it. I mean, the debate, we can go on for debating the back and forth regarding what people are should be doing and not doing. Um, but we appreciate you listening in. Um, if you like us, and subscribe. Um, if you like to leave us a comment in the comment section, go right ahead. Um, any questions or concerns, we do review them and we will reply back. So, uh, do you have any final thoughts? No, we did want to just show you all the, 
you know, we did want to go over all the different types of face masks that we've tried and the issues that we've had with them. So, it's been very frustrating. So, I'm sure we're not the only ones who've had a really hard time trying to find a mask that works for them. So. All right. Well, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you again, and uh, we'll see you next time on Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul. Bye. If you have enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest context. And check out the other great clips on Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul on the YouTube network. Thank you.